Light beam to the hydrogen peroxide here. And depending on the peroxide concentration and how much of this light is absorbed by the peroxide and how much is reflected by the peroxide. So this is basically how it works. So the light source being absorbed by peroxide and how much is, is, is um, reflected. Okay, so I've made a couple of comments here. So here we have a, a light source and the lead performance less than 50% on the machine, it will tell you here, you need to remove and clean, okay, if it's less than 50%. On the refractometer, there's a little screen, you touch enter, hold it for three seconds, and you can see all the values on the refractometer, okay. When we go downstairs, we'll have a quick look at this the screen to show you the, these values. Reflection of light depends on concentration. If concentration is less, we have more white. If concentration is high, we have more black. So this is how it is read. It's read. We, we read the, refract, the, the refraction of white to black. So we have more white, we have a certain concentration, we have more black, we have a certain concentration. So the refractometer just depends on, so concentration is less, then we will here have more white. So if we have more white, that means that, that we're not absorbing as much light. Mm -hmm. So if we have more black, it means we are absorbing more, okay? So that's just how it works. So the reflection, so the reading depends on the concentration. If we read this refraction of the refractometer. The important things is the 50% here, you have to clean, and also we have this derivative value. The derivative value is less than 55,000, it also has to be cleaned. At the moment, it's sitting about 97,000, the value, so because it's new. Mm. And to clean it, we have a special paste. Yes. Okay, it's a special paste. And you just have a certain amount of water to a certain amount of paste. You make a slurry out of it, and you put it on the prism, and then you clean the prism. The prism, in actual size, is about, about this size. Mm -hmm. Okay. It also has an O-ring around it. So if you remove it, be careful you don't lose the O-ring. And there's a very small hole. So you only need a little bit of paste. About 10 years ago, one of our international engineers was coming to Australia and we had problems with refractometer. And we had no cleaning paste in Australia. So he was coming out to Australia to run through the, the cleaning purpose of this and his cleaning paste looks like talcum powder that he had in his carrier luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Until he got to Sydney Airport. <laughs> and then he was taken away for interrogation. <laughs> Why are you carrying this white big bag of white powder? <laughs> <laughs> True story. His name was Hope in Strasbourg. <laughs> so, hey, I ain't fucking never going out there again. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> bag of fucking powder. <laughs> but on the machine, I'll show you this, okay? Just the derivative values. We won't remove it, because if we remove it, then we fuck up the settings. So just remember, the concentration depends depends on the reflection and how the reflection then is converted into... <laughs>
So as you can see, This is a, a millivolt analog signal from the level probe and we have certain positions from 0 to 100%. So at 1000 millivolts, then we say this is the top level here. At 9900, at this level here, is level in preparation if pump is off. So if we're in preparation, we step the machine up and this level is low, level in preparation if pump is on, and then we will, from the container, we will fill this to here. So the level, the level probe tells the container when to fill to the tank, okay? So top one, level in preparation if pump is off. Next level, here. Level in preparation if pump is on. So we, we've lost some level because now it's circulating. <coughs> Next level, 840. Safety level, low level in stop. So in stop, if we have this level, then the machine will then drag more peroxide into go to to bring it back up again. So the safety level. If we go below this safety level, when we pump up to the bath, then we will go to low level here. And the machine will stop. Mm -hmm. So we call this the safety level because how much peroxide we need to pump up into the bath. So safety level, low level, and stop. Then this level here, safety level, high level in production. So please don't give me any more in production because if you give me too much and we stop, then we can overflow the tank. So safety level, safety level in production. The next one here, high level in production here. So if we're in production and we have too much in here, we can also have a problem with overflow. So high level in production, we have alarm. Okay, you mean you have to drain some off? Okay. Low level in production here. So if we have low level in production, then we 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 fill from the container, put more in, because we don't want to go above the safety level. If we do pump, put more in, and then the minimum level, pump stop here. So absolute minimum level, if pump is stopped, then we fill the tank, if pump is stopped. So this is just one level probe, but depending on its analog signal, it, how it, tells, it tells the machine at alarm point, and it tells the pump to pump to turn, sorry, it tells the regulator to turn air on to push air into the container to push con the peroxide in the container into the tank. If you don't have enough level in here, someone forgets to put the container in. Mm. When you start the machine, and we don't have enough peroxide here to fill the tank. Alarm. Level sensor, alarm, peroxide, bath. Okay, so this is just controlling all the levels during starts, stops, and production. calibration of the sensor, the new filtered value is used for through the level monitoring function from the millivolt function. When it is in its lowest possible position, the analog signal input is zero millivolts, with zero percent. Safety levels, if the safety, if the level is now lower than 84 during a stop, it is not possible to start the machine. So if the level is lower, then 84 here, because this is a safety level low in stop. If it's lower than here, you cannot start the machine. 
you need to put more peroxide in the tank. Okay? But if you have too low a level and we do pump it up, there'll be nothing left in here. We don't have enough peroxide to pump up to the tank. If there is not enough peroxide in the tank to fill the bath, above, that's what I just said. If the level is above 2,500 <coughs> during production, the machine stops. But if the level is above 2,500 here, it's above here in production, the machine will stop. This is our safe level, we don't want too much in. Okay? So this is the peroxide tank. The, the level, a level, um, level regulator is just a, your, your everyday standard regulator. It means something to to Eddie. It means fuck all to Grant. Probably means something to the Filipino mafias. <laughs> so is this during during spray uh, filling of spray tank and spraying. We monitor the level with the probe. Okay, so depending depending where the level is, it, it depends on how the the level regulator works. Okay, that'll be on the voltage. Yeah, and we use the frame of the tank as the part of the the circuit. Okay, so here once we push to here, this becomes this will be open. Mm -hmm. Then we cover. Then then this then through here to the relay then closes the latch and then we start to empty but because this is, was closed before and until this is uncovered we won't open the, the latch. Okay. There's an everyday common or garden level relay. Okay. Yeah. You probably would have worked on a thousand of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You probably would have thrown a hundred in the bin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 So nothing, nothing too, too drastic here. So these are the components of the UV lamp. So number one here is the power supply. So this sits up on top of the electrical cabinet. Okay. And on this, up on top here, you'll see a bunch of, of lights also. So what lights are on or off, it tells you what the alarm function is. You can take the alarm light function here to the MM book. So what lights are on or off here, it's in the MM. Yeah, it's towards the back. It's right at the end of this. Keep going. Yeah, before. 